Hi, my name is Gabby and I have too much stuff. I have lived in this apartment for 15 months. Over those months, I have accumulated so much more stuff than when I started in this place. Every little nook and cranny, every single cabinet in my apartment has something in it. Do I want all of those things? No, I don't. I am embarking on a quest to get rid of stuff. It's, it's pretty simple. I am not really abiding by any rules. If I don't want it, get rid of it. Somehow, it's getting out of here. I am going to expose myself right now for you. So let's go look at the current state of my apartment. Yikes. Look at the layers, the layers of stuff. This is a, this is a bad one. Look at this. What? Why do I have so many pots? Get all this stuff under my couch. What is it? I have a specific problem where I never get rid of boxes. Okay, this is my coat closet. All these bins, don't really know what's in them. Okay, my nightstand is another little problem area. What's going on there? No organization whatsoever. Oh, oh and I have moldy sweet potatoes, nice. start with my closets today this is what my closet is looking like it's fairly full that's what we have to work with shirts this is already a lot I'm one human why do I own so many shirts more more tops and now I'm gonna go through each and every one and decide does it spark joy and if not it's out That didn't take too long. I tried to just think about how often I wear each piece. Time to put things back. I am tired. I don't want to keep going, but I will. I'll start with the hanging stuff. That is easy. Isn't that nice? Black tank top. Green tank top. Okay, wait, I did get rid of a lot. This feels good. I have half of this open now. This is my sweaters. So I got a lot of open space back there. Also very open. Also very open here. So that is a major improvement. I actually feel pretty, pretty good about this. So many pants. Oh, all my pants. Meter Sigma 1.4. If anyone's curious. <laughs> I found today that it was important to not think about how I was gonna get rid of things because that kind of stresses me out and makes me tend to want to keep more things than I probably should. I'm going to get rid of this dress. It's from college. I feel like in college and a little after college, like my goal with dressing was always like fitting in, looking hot. <laughs> I, I feel like those are not really like my goals anymore keep having to remind myself to only keep things that I am like excited to wear. Like these pants are cool, but I never wear them. So like, what is the point? I would rather someone else wear them. Cute. We'll resume another time. I gotta be fresh when I'm doing this. Okay, so I just finished going through my whole bin of dance stuff and I had kept so many of these packaging materials from this brand of tights that we get. And I feel so bad because I don't want these. I don't think anyone wants these. So I'm just gonna throw them away, but I feel terrible. And this is why I have a problem. I, I don't like throwing things away, so I keep them for a year and then I throw them away after a year because I realize that I can't do anything with them. Good news though, 
I had this whole basket full of old dance stuff and I have condensed it to this little box. It says hats, maybe I should take that off. It's funny how I just literally don't know what are in these baskets and they take up so much space. This one has like old swimsuits that I don't wear. A romper, I don't wear rompers. A Corona bucket hat. Don't think I need that. I like this hat. I forgot about this. Go Badgers. Oh my gosh, I looked for these once and I couldn't find them. This is absurd. Look how many boob pads I have found. <laughs> like I never throw these away and I always take them out of all of my tops. Like I don't like them. I have a problem. I have a problem. I found a wig cap. I don't think I need this anymore. I have so many <laughs> pairs of shoes. That's a lot of shoes. Gotta go through them. <laughs> I forgot I had shoes up here, but I do. Up here. <laughs> More shoes. I don't know. Okay, yes. These are a yes. I don't think I like these. Okay, I kind of hit a wall. I think all I'm going to try to do today is finish up all of my wardrobe stuff. So right now I have all of the bags I own here. So I'm gonna go through those. Maybe I'll do like my accessories and then I will call it a day. Okay. I wanna keep this and this. I got rid of a bunch of bags. So now everything actually fits better. Okay, I don't know where I'm putting these ones. I was checking to make sure that I got all the bags in my apartment, and I realized that under my bed, look at this, that blue thing all the way back there is a bag. It is like unreachable. Why do I have that? It's gonna have so much dust on it. Ew. 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 Yeah, I think it's safe to say that I don't use this and I can get rid of it. This is a lot of stuff. <laughs> I knitted this, which is why I'm so sentimentally attached to it. I think I could knit something cooler. Goodbye. Okay, so I think this is the only scarf I'm keeping, which makes sense, because I love this scarf. It's cute. Yeah, I like these. <laughs> Why does this look like this on me? Yeah, I think this is a no. What do I do with this? I got this ring for participating in my college dance team for four years. It's a honker. No one else is gonna want this, I don't think. I think I might see if my parents wanna put it in, they have like a box of dress up stuff. This is all of the jewelry that is like tarnished. I should just really invest more in my jewelry. I think that the overall cost of me like buying all these little cheap items would just have totaled to like one nice set of earrings, you know? This is all the stuff that I decided can leave my home today. I suffer with a lot of guilt of wasting things, so if I see something like a pair of socks with holes in them and I know I need to throw them away, it will make me feel very sad in the moment when I'm holding them and deciding to throw them away. Whereas if I can throw it in a big pile and I'm like, I don't know what I'm gonna do with that, I'll figure it out later, it makes me feel a little bit better and it helps me not keep things out of guilt. I, I really encourage everyone to get rid of things as consciously as possible, but also don't keep things that are literally trash because you feel bad about it. Like, 
I do. It, there's no reason. You don't have to do that. <laughs> okay, ends for different things. So I've got sell, donate, other. So now I have officially gone through everything I could wear in my apartment. Finish my left closet and my right closet. Ooh, wow. I think earlier today I was like, I'm gonna do my whole apartment. Why do I make such bold claims? Who do I, who do I think I am? As I kind of collected all my clothes throughout the day, I also like continually made a list of other places that I need to make sure I sweep through. I'm very excited for this to happen. Like, I feel like I will feel new and lighter by the end of this. Yeah. Hello, it's been a while since I worked on this, but I took two days of PTO and I am going to just try to get through this. We'll see if I can actually accomplish that. Today, I am going through all of my like books, office supplies, art supplies, and then hopefully my kitchen. That's the plan, it's noon. I have this very interesting mushroom root beer. I should try it. It does smell like root beer. It's like if apple cider vinegar was mixed into your root beer. That's really weird. This is gonna be a fun experience while I clean. I'm also, we're gonna listen to this while we go. And hopefully it'll just be a fun day full of getting rid of my stuff I don't need. Let's go! <laughs> Let's try to find one that I actually did. Ooh. Look at these little logos I made. I wonder when this is from. Probably like a year ago. I'm struggling to get rid of this. I just, I wanna be the type of person that cooks really nice meals. And I wanna keep this because I'm like, maybe in the future. However, I feel like I need to actually get rid of it now. And I could always repurchase something like this. So I'm going to get rid of it. And this is the level of thought and detail I am putting into nearly every object that I am going through. So this is going to take a while. Oh my God. I just found my old bullet journals. So intense. Oh my God. Look at this Moana theme I did. I think I will keep these. <sighs> the time has come. I am going to go through my Alex drawers. There is so much stuff in this and I know that I need to go through it all, but that sounds like really not fun. Here's all the books and sketchbooks I'm keeping. Here's all the books I'm getting rid of.
4.30 now. I've been going, I've been going for a while. I, I only have an hour and a half left of this audiobook. The next major thing I have is my art supplies. I already went through a lot of them here. I just have some random other art supplies other places. Also, this weird root beer is growing on me. What are the mushrooms supposed to do to me? I don't really know if I buy it. Whatever. I 99% of the time do digital art. Why do I have all this stuff? Mod Podge. Paint kind of is easy because if it's dried up, then I can get rid of it. Okay, all of those paints are still alive. That's cool. Also have this watercolor set. It is very vintage. Ooh, this one's still squishy. Okay, these are all of my still alive watercolors. And they fit in my little kit. It's so cute. This is all I have left. It's actually not that much stuff. It just looked like a lot, I guess. <sighs> So many Tupperware. It's empty. Why do I have so many planters? How did this even happen? Now I have to go through them all. fun thing where I hoard packing supplies even though I don't have an art shop yet. I'm working on it. Like, I, I never throw out nice boxes. Never, ever. I don't think I plan on selling anything where I'd need a box. I'm really prepared for stuff I'm not even doing. Do it's very sad. You can't recycle these. Yes, it would be great for sustainability reasons to keep every piece of cardboard and styrofoam and whatever that I've ever received and pack things in it, but I live in a 500 square foot apartment, not like a warehouse where I can like store all of this stuff. So I think it's just for the best that I let it go, even though it hurts a little bit. all of the random stuff in my living room that I think I am keeping. I kind of want to just put it all away. I think I'm going to wait until I actually clear out my kitchen and my closet because I'm hoping that a lot of this stuff can fit in those places. So I think I'm going to start with my kitchen. Yeah, let's move on. Even though this is chaos. Let's just keep going. I used to keep all of my tea in my living room and now I am realizing it makes way more sense to keep it in here. So I corralled all my tea together into this one spot. So if I want tea, it's all here. Why do I have this? Look how big that is. It's just full of coriander seeds. I guess I need to start cooking Indian food again. Okay, I'm realizing now how many things I own just because I was told that you should own them. Like, I have four wine glasses and I never drink wine. I think I got a bottle of wine in March and it's still in my fridge. So why do I own four wine glasses? No reason. Okay, I'm getting rid of them. I have this set of Alex drawers and it's full of random stuff and I need to go through it all. Yay. Shoe glue and WD-40. Like, why are these in my kitchen? What's going on? Great, 
since this is such a high traffic point, like it's very accessible, so I think I'm gonna prioritize putting all of my essential items in here and then we'll go from there. That's pretty awesome. So I got all of my tea in here. I even put all of my little like tea instruments in this little box. All of my beverages are now nice and accessible in this drawer. art stuff into this cabinet. Put all of my random packing supplies in this basket. I'm gonna shove that in here. These are just the notepads that I have so far. Gouache and watercolor. So, acrylic paint. And a random canvas. So we'll see if I end up putting more in there. This is all the stuff I'm getting rid of today. It's kind of a lot. I'm so tired. Too much stuff, you know? So. I don't know why I have so much soil. Why did I buy so much? I think I am about to do something that I've never done before. This plant. I've owned this plant since college and I have never been able to make it happy. It's, it's not supposed to droop like this. I think I am getting rid of it and that feels like a true sin. So I think I'm also getting rid of this plant. Look at this. This used to be a whole tree. It just decided it wanted to die. I don't think I have what it takes to revive these two. They, they gotta go. So, everybody say your goodbyes. Bye. I know, I know I'm a bad plant parent and that I probably could have saved those plants, but honestly, I'm not gonna miss those plants. Although I worked on decluttering for like seven hours today, I look around and I am disappointed. <laughs> and I think it's because I mostly tackled like kind of invisible spaces. So when I look around, everything looks the exact same, which kind of sucks. Also, I'm not sure if I would recommend taking PTO to declutter. I, I wouldn't say that today was relaxing. Satisfying, a little bit. Relaxing, no. So. Yay, okay. Hello, um, welcome to another day of me working on this project. I really sincerely hope that today is the last day that I am filming this, but I only have a little bit left to do. So all I have to do is my bathroom and then just like my decor and things that are sitting out in general. So that's not that much. I've been filming this since April, I think. That, and it's August already, so it's just, it's been too long. I, I need to wrap it up. What is all of this? This is my AC cover, and I have been keeping it under my nightstand all summer. And I don't need to get this out until it's like winter. So why do I have it there? No reason. I've 
so many things from when I used to self tan. This was my little intention board for the year. Isn't it cute? <laughs> This for a video like four months ago. I think I can get rid of it. Just wanna be with you, right? you so good, I just wanna be Today was the final day of decluttering my apartment. I was just doing some little finishing touches, um, mostly just getting rid of some decor pieces that I don't really want anymore. I definitely have a very maximalist vibe in this apartment, but even for me, it was getting to the point where I was like, okay, I got a little bit too much stuff. Even after all of the work I put into this apartment, I still feel like it could use more decluttering, like there's just always more stuff. I think I learned from this project that I really should implement decluttering in my everyday life a little bit more, like I really need to think about whether or not I want to keep things long term before I just like throw them under my couch and forget about them for eight months, you know? Do I think I did this perfectly? No. No I don't. I don't think this video is going to be your guide to decluttering your apartment, like probably don't follow my advice. I'm just a random person on the internet. But maybe it is motivating and maybe this will make you stop and say, huh, maybe I should do that too. I feel a lot lighter personally and a lot happier knowing that I've just like put in some effort into the space that I call home. If you've made it this far in the video, you're a real one. I appreciate you so much for watching until the end. I know this video is kind of random. I usually post like art stuff, but I wanted to declutter my apartment and I thought, why not just film it? Why not? Until next time, remember that you can do anything that you put your mind to and that you rock. Bye.